This is 300 eggs. It's only gonna last me 10 days because I'm gonna eat 30 eggs a day for 30 days. A while ago, I was reading about this bodybuilder from the 1960s who claimed that eating 36 eggs a day for six to eight weeks was as good as a mild steroid cycle. That sounded way too good to be true, so I thought I'd give it a shot. The first step was to acquire tons of eggs. I took a before picture, then I checked my weight and got some blood tests checking cholesterol, testosterone, and a couple other things. The other thing I needed was a good gym. Excuse me. Yep. Hey, uh, you look like you kicked my ass. Do you know a good gym around here? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yes, to all the above. And I actually have a gym right here. <laughs> So up until this point, I wasn't really a serious lifter. I was mostly doing CrossFit with a bit of lifting here and there. To see if this egg diet would give me some strength gains, I checked the big three lifts. Vince Gironda originally recommended consuming all the eggs as a smoothie with half and half a banana and protein powder. He also said to eat a pound of hamburger meat with salad for lunch and one to two pounds of steak with steamed vegetables for dinner. But for my experiment, a typical day of eating for me would usually be something like 30 eggs, a bowl of rice, a bit of beef, a small yogurt, some fruit, a bit of honey, and maybe a protein bar. So I was getting about 3,300 to 3,700 calories. So the first day and the first couple days weren't really all that hard for me. I mean, in total, it's only about 3,500 calories. And since I'm doing all that lifting, I'm getting really hungry. So it's not like a massive amount of food to eat. So a bunch of people were asking me how I ate the eggs, either cooked or raw. And I ate pretty much all of the egg yolks raw because I don't want to oxidize the fat within the egg yolk. I've explained why this is bad in another video. As for the whites, I ate them either cooked or raw. And you can actually make a surprisingly good mango ice cream with about 10 egg yolks and about 100 grams of mango. But could eggs really be any better for gains than just eating a ton of protein and calories? We'll tackle that later, but one study did find that whole eggs build more muscle than a protein matched amount of just egg whites. So day five was not too great. I had so much gas I couldn't sleep and my girlfriend asked me to sleep on the sofa because the flatulence was keeping her awake. I was really worried here because I still had 750 eggs to go, so I was really hoping something else was the issue. I was thinking about what is different about my diet other than a ton of eggs. And I was eating a ton of that mango ice cream. And it turns out that mangoes are high in fermentable short chain carbohydrates, which can mess with your gut, causing diarrhea or a bunch of gas. So the next day I skipped the mangoes and my stomach felt fine. The next challenge was the eighth day. Nick Pettis invited me on an episode of his channel, Junk Food Japan. So I got to eat tons of really good yakitori, but I still had to eat my daily 30 eggs. So uh, what are you actually planning after this? Actually, I was uh, planning on heading home, probably eat about 15 eggs, something like that. What? I hadn't really had trouble getting all the eggs down until this day. I was choking down egg whites until about 9.30 at night. So one of my favorite ways to get down a couple eggs was to get one of these rice and beef bowls and then put about five or six egg yolks in it and then mix it up. The ninth day is when I noticed I had actually been feeling pretty great. I felt more focused, had tons of energy in and out of the gym, my libido was higher, and I was a bit more driven and unrestrained. I usually procrastinate on my writing, but within the first 10 days of this egg diet, I had written eight different posts on my Substack. So could eggs raise testosterone? Well, 30 eggs gives me 190 grams of protein, 150% the daily value of vitamin A, 120% the vitamin D, tons of B vitamins, a crap ton of choline, and plenty of minerals. All of these arguably support muscle growth in one way or another, but 30 eggs also gives you tons of cholesterol, 2100% the daily value, and tons of saturated fat, 45 grams. Dr. Juan Carlos Casano presents in his article on the Vince Gironda egg diet, a study that suggests that more saturated animal fat will increase concentrations of testosterone and free testosterone. Another study found that low saturated fat was associated with reduced testosterone production. If you put your saturated fat to zero, your testosterone will drop. Mm. There's no question about it. We only hear about bad things about cholesterol, but it's actually necessary for producing hormones like testosterone. In a 2017 review, the author said that the reason people see a rise in testosterone on a ketogenic diet may be because of the increased intake of cholesterol. Dietary cholesterol is, is vital for hormone production. Butter, red meat, 
from good sources is wonderful. Eggs are really good. Eggs are really good. For a while, things were going really great for me. I continued to feel focused with tons of energy and was getting a lot stronger in the gym. At one point, I was eating all 30 eggs raw for about six days straight. Then on the night of the 20th day of this experiment after I had finished all 30 of my raw eggs, I found myself stuck in the bathroom for over an hour. I was really constipated and my stomach kept painfully cramping up. Standing up made the cramps even worse, but at some point I had to get up because I also needed to puke. I took a bath to soothe my queasy stomach and went to sleep. With 10 more days and 300 more eggs to go, I really needed to figure out what was going on. I knew raw egg whites contained this stuff called avidin that can deplete vitamin B7, causing skin or nail issues, but those 30 egg yolks would give me 900% the daily value of B7, so I figured I'd be okay if I didn't cook every single egg white. However, raw egg whites also contain trypsin inhibitors, and trypsin inhibitors have been found to cause inflammation and stomach issues for certain sensitive people. It was a bit of a guess, but I figured I'd try cooking all of the egg whites to see if that would help. Luckily, this seemed to do the trick, and I didn't have any more stomach issues. But now I had to eat 30 cooked egg whites. Trust me, for whatever reason, cooked egg whites are way more filling and a lot harder to get down than raw egg whites. Oh. <sighs> With my stomach issues out of the way, everything was great again, except I hadn't mentioned that I had been sleeping less, for an interesting reason. I don't drink any caffeine nowadays, but the extra energy and drive that I was feeling thanks to all these eggs was to the point that on several days, I would wake up an hour early, but I was too excited to start the day and couldn't fall back asleep. As we discussed, 30 eggs gives you 120% your vitamin D and 150% the vitamin A. I think it's generally well known that vitamin D supplementation can increase testosterone, but vitamin A can increase the levels of a protein that regulates how much testosterone can be made from cholesterol. While this is really interesting, we can't say that you can eat tons of vitamin A and expect to get more and more testosterone. Though one study on 155 twins found vitamin A intake correlated with testosterone levels. And another study was looking at how to induce puberty in boys who weren't developing as fast as they should. They found supplementing a combination of vitamin A and iron to be as good as supplementing actual testosterone for inducing puberty in these boys. However, the dose of vitamin A was quite low, so these kids were probably not getting enough vitamin A in the first place. If you're interested, I've written about vitamin A and testosterone in a lot more detail on my Substack linked in the description. And if you'd like to discuss these types of things on the WIL Discord, take a look at my Patreon. Did you want me to read these test results or not? So I finally got my testosterone results and it didn't change. This was kind of surprising to me because my mood, focus, libido, and energy all made it seem like I had higher testosterone, but apparently not. Though I was also sleeping less, which is bad for testosterone. So finally, here's what I looked like before and after eating 900 eggs and plenty of lifting. I definitely cultivated some mass. There's a bit more fat and probably water, but I added a good chunk of muscle on my frame. I wore the same shorts here both times, so my legs definitely got a lot thicker. But is this result really as good as a steroid cycle? Well, it was a decent bulk, but I really don't think anybody is going to be making a natty or not video about me. Maybe the result would have been more impressive if I did it for the six to eight weeks Vince Deronda recommended, or if my lifting routine was more on point. I thought I was lifting pretty well, but about 20 days in, my buddy Etienne restructured my routine to optimize it more for hypertrophy, and right away, it felt like it was a lot more effective than what I was doing. As for my weight, I gained about six kilos or 13 pounds. My max deadlift started at 120 kilograms, 265 pounds, and went up to 140 kilograms, 309 pounds. My max bench started at 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, and went up to 110 kilograms, 242 pounds. My max squat started at 95 kilograms, 206 pounds, and it went up to 115 kilograms, 254 pounds. Here, read the results. The other blood work I'm sure you guys are dying to hear about is my cholesterol, especially the LDL bad cholesterol, because this is what everyone is concerned about. Believe it or not, my LDL cholesterol in fact didn't really change. I got my blood checked at the start of the egg experiment, one week in, and at the end of the 30 days. My LDL cholesterol went from 102 to 108 in the first week, which is a negligible change. And then three weeks later, it was still 108. Eating 690 more eggs did not change my LDL so-called bad cholesterol. Don't you worry about cholesterol? I don't worry about anything. 
happy anymore. In fact, my HDL good cholesterol improved. It went from 37 to 43 in the first week and it was 45 at the end of the month. And my triglycerides, which you generally want to be as low as they can get, went from 87 all the way down to 44 in the first week. At the end of the month, they were down to 39. Even my kidney function got a tiny bit better. My creatinine, which you want to be lower, went from 0.78 to 0.74, and I ended the month at 0.71. A couple people were asking me, would you eat that many eggs again? Well, I kind of have to. I bought all these extra eggs so I could take this sweet shot. But honestly, I think I might do this again if I needed to bulk up. Though I would just toss out all the egg whites and replace them with red meat. Now it wasn't just eggs fueling my workouts every day. That's where this video's sponsor, Element, comes in. I don't actually take caffeine or pre-workout, but I've noticed I can push harder and do longer workouts when I take Element's electrolyte packs. We all know hydration is important, but you might need a lot more salt and electrolytes than you think for exercise performance, especially considering people lose a lot of electrolytes in their sweat. Electrolytes play a key role in muscle fatigue specifically. In fact, the symptoms of too low sodium, potassium, or magnesium all include weakness or fatigue. So if you're having those days where you're feeling weak at the gym, you might need to up your electrolytes. Element tastes great, and my favorite thing is there's no junk in it. It's just a good amount of sodium, potassium, magnesium, a bit of flavoring, and some stevia. If you prefer, there's also a raw and flavored type. If you go to drinklmnt.com slash what I've learned, you can get a free sampler pack with any purchase.